What's up, Team Diadem? This is Michael Manglardi, one of the co-founders here at Diadem Sports, and we are back today for another Tech Talk. I'm joined with Evan Specht, one of our other co-founders, and today we're talking about Blue Core. So Evan, talk us through uh, just a quick overview. What is Blue Core and why does it exist? Uh, well, Blue Core is an expanded polypropylene foam um, and it exists because we wanted to find a better way for players to experience pickleball. Cores that are built with uh, polypropylene honeycomb or any type of other honeycomb, they have core crush, they have delamination, they have dead spots, and Blue Core completely eliminates that. So I wanna dive more into that because it's really interesting and I know that's what a lot of people wanna hear about, but to go back in time a little bit, talk us through the development process of Blue Core, obviously a very different technology than what Diadem has put out into the market previously. So um, how long has Blue Core been in the works and what were some of the, uh, the challenges and hiccups along the way that we ran into? Well, yeah, it actually has been in the works for a long time and it actually started back with the Vice. If you remember the uh, grand unveil at Diacon 1, the Vice was a solid EVA Core. So it's another type of foam that is not strictly legal according to the USAP rules, but it does offer a lot of benefits. And so we kind of wanted to work towards a way to make a legal version of a solid core. And that's kind of where the, uh, the genesis of Blue Core began. Uh, over the development process, we worked with different foams, different materials, thicknesses, densities, um, and, and we kind of settled on this expanded polypropylene that really gave us the qualities of a very durable but also an expanded sweet spot and on top of the expanded sweet spot a, a longer dwell time so dwell time is something that i know has been a buzzword in pickleball lately and going back to the reference of the vice one of the things that players loved about the vice and and personally i loved about the vice is i felt like i could really control right. the ball and, and shape my shots and a lot of that can be stemmed back to the dwell time that you experienced with that paddle. So that was obviously a, a concept paddle that was illegal and Blue Core is going to be a completely legal technology. Can we talk about some of the differences in what players will feel when it comes to dwell time specifically? Yeah, so compared to uh, an EVA foam, it won't be as long of a dwell time, but compared to a honeycomb, whether it's polypropylene or Nomex or aluminum, you'll find a much longer dwell time where that ball is actually sticking on the surface or sticking with the paddle a little bit longer. That allows you to shape the ball as you mentioned. It allows you to direct with accuracy where your ball is going. And I think as power is limited um, in legality moving forward, accuracy is going to be very important. Uh, and I think not only will the consumer feel a little bit softer, a little bit more comfortable, um, they'll still get the power and the pop when we put it in paddles that are for power and pop because we can again adjust the densities, adjust the thickness, adjust the shape of the paddle to allow for all sorts of a range of actual characteristics that the consumer wants. So uh, I've got a piece of blue core here in front of me and hopefully uh, as I'm holding this up our producers will cut the video so you can see an up close shot of it but as you squeeze it and feel it it's, it's kind of an interesting structure. It's it looks like it would be soft, but when you squeeze it, it it's actually quite hard. Um, can you talk about how a solid core paddle compares to a honeycomb paddle, which I think most people are familiar with uh, in its performance, but also its longevity? Yeah, well, let's go back to how it's actually made. And I think that can open some, some ideas of, of how you're getting the characteristics that we want. So it, EPP is actually a similar or the same material as polypropylene. It's just a different form. So we take pellets, we put them in a mold, we heat them and we expand them. Um, and that creates this really, really solid structure that it is important that it's a one solid piece. We don't want to put holes in it. We don't want to lose the integrity of the core. Um, and that solid structure not only is incredibly hard, but it can vary in the hardness throughout the core. So on the surface, it's harder than the core, the inside of the core. So that allows for a little bit more dwell time, a little bit more reflex and pop back during the play. So being able to do that allows the player to sort of begin to feel like the paddle is an extension of the hand, which is really what we want long-term. Talking a lot about Blue core and, and 
deflection and right. you know the the vibration or movement of the core of the paddle makes it seem like the paddle may have issues over time. Why is it that uh, a blue core paddle is going to stand the test of time when other common cores like honeycomb uh, don't experience that type of durability? Right, so the way that the structure of the pellets are, the impact resistance is much higher than honeycomb. Um, in lab tests where we, we just did a, a very short window of 18,000 hits, blue core performed 10 times better in that impact resistance where the ball is being hit into honeycomb, over time there's degradation. The, the core starts to collapse in on itself. So the, the return of energy of back to the ball starts to lessen each time. Blue core, it, it compacts and it expands and it can do so time and time again, well past any life of a paddle you'd expect. So players want to talk about sweet spot. That's something that everybody's looking for, whether you're a 5-0 trying to master the pro tour yeah. or you're a recreational or even a beginner, sweet spot is important because let's face it, we don't always hit perfect shots. And when we don't, we want a paddle that's able to help make up for those errors and still get the ball where we want it to go. One thing you mentioned when talking about blue core was that blue core is gonna offer a wider and bigger sweet spot. Why is that? Well, part of the beauty of blue core is it's consistent from center to edge. So in honeycomb, you'll have cut and broken cells around the outside of the core. You maybe put foam and then you thermoform it. With blue core from the center all the way to the thermoformed edge, there is a consistent and balanced feel. So the sweet spot, of course, will kind of move depending on where we put the extra weight, whether it's a wide frame or a skinny frame or an extended frame. The blue core sweet spot will be much larger than the honeycomb. Good, and uh, we're all chasing the bigger sweet spot, so that's something that I'll definitely be looking for with the, the next lineup of paddles. So transitioning to that, Blue Core is a technology. It's something that we unveiled at Diacon at the uh, beginning of February, but it's not yet found in any of Diadem paddles on the market. Can we talk a little bit about where players are gonna expect to see Blue Core and how Diadem's going to utilize that throughout the rest of the year? Yeah, they're going to be seeing Blue Core in every performance paddle in Diadem's lineup. Uh, we'll be launching our first Blue Core series very shortly in the spring. Uh, and not only will you then see it in that line, but in all of our lines. And it's important for us to do that because with Blue Core, we can offer a lifetime warranty on the core. I gotta stop you right there because that's the phrase that everybody's asking us about. We've seen it in the DMs, we've seen the comments, and we're really proud of it. Blue Core has a lifetime warranty on the core of the paddle. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about what that means and, and why Diadem is so confident in making that kind of warranty? Absolutely, we're very confident in the core of the paddle. We're confident that there will be no uh, delamination because the connection between the surface and the core is much stronger. Uh, we're confident there'll be no core crush because there is no honeycomb to crush. And we are very confident that there'll be no dead spots. And again, the dead spots are caused by honeycomb breaking, honeycomb delaminating, and that's just not gonna happen with Blue Core. Uh, you'll still have the normal six month warranty on all parts and pieces of our high performance paddles, but for the core itself, it will last you a lifetime. And on a less serious note, another question that we've heard uh, almost as much as the question about the lifetime warranty. Why is Blue Core blue? That's a, that is a very good question that we do hear a lot and I think it's a very easy question to answer. It is blue because we wanted the consumer to know when they're buying a Blue Core powered paddle, they're getting an authentic, durable uh, core that's going to last them a lifetime. And we're, we're having a lot of unique things like uh, a clear butt cap that shows the consumer right away, this is a blue core paddle. Um, there's a lot of counterfeiting out in the market nowadays. Uh, we wanna make sure that the consumer knows you're getting a diet and paddle and you can trust your diet and paddle. And for all you paddle nerds that just paused the video when you held up that paddle and you're trying to zoom in and figure out what it is that Evan just held up, can you just let the cat out of the bag and, and tell people what you're holding up? Yeah, this is a paddle that has blue core in it, but 
It's not really a paddle. There you go. It's a prototype. <laughs> it's it a- has no relevance, no real substance. So if you guys were going to try and leak it in the forums, you're not going to get the hit that you're looking for, but we appreciate how much you care. Um, the last thing that, that I want to ask too is just you know your perspective on the pickleball paddle industry. I think 2024 was the year of power. Yeah. What is the trend in 2025 and, and what do you think players are going to not just expect but demand in the future of pickleball? Yeah, as a, as a player myself, uh, I demand consistency and durability for the life of the paddle. I mean, nobody wants to have to replace a paddle every few months because there's some sort of issue, whether it completely falls apart or it just changes over time. Um, you know, there's no break in period with blue core, there's no change over the life of it you're going to get a paddle and you're gonna be able to use it as long as you want. We expect still with innovation and changes, whether it's you know Diadem coming out with it or another brand, you may want to change your paddle in the future. You might want another color, but you're going to decide when you change it. You're not going to be forced to change it. And I think that the general consumer, as power is limited, is gonna want a more uh, accurate paddle. They're gonna want a more control in terms of where they put the ball throughout the match, um, they're not necessarily going to look for the highest power because the power is going to be capped. So on that, a lot of people are asking about power and, and where does blue core fall in the spectrum of, of power and paddles, also within the tolerance of what's accepted and maybe what's uh, not accepted or falls into the gray area in today's rules. Yeah, and I, uh, what I'm really excited about with Blue Core is it really is just a technology that we can use and we can kind of bend to our, our desires in terms of the characteristics we want in a paddle. Um, there will be, uh, in this first series of paddles we're launching, a power paddle that is right at the legal limit of what is allowed. And there will be a control paddle that is um, giving the consumer a softer feel that allows them to kind of place it as they want. We want to make sure that we have a full array of characteristics for, for the diet and player, but we do want to play within the legalities of, of the USAP and, and the rules that they put forth. Awesome. Well, you guys heard it here first. That just about wraps it up. We're super excited to not just launch Diet and Blue Core, but also all of the performance paddles that are going to follow. If you guys have questions, drop them in the comments, send us an email. We'd be happy to jump on and talk more tech with you guys. But in the meantime, we'll see you on the court. Thanks for tuning in.